In this problem, we have to solve the right triangle. So to solve the right triangle means to find the measure of all sides and all angles. So you always want to use information that's given first in these problems. So in this problem here, we're given um, the sides. So we should probably use the sides first to find the other side. By the way, this means 90 degrees, so we already have that. Okay, so to find the other side, to find little a, uh, we can use the theorem of Pythagoras. It says that a squared plus b squared equals c squared. So we don't know a, so a squared is a squared. b is 4, so 4 squared is 16. And c is 6, so c squared is 36. So we can subtract the 16. So a squared is 36 minus 16. That's going to be uh, 20. Take the square root. We do get a plus or minus when we take the square root, but um, it's a length, so we only take the plus. So a is the square root of 20. And the largest factor of 20 that's a perfect square is 4. So you can write this as the square root of 4 times the square root of 5. So a is equal to 2 square root of 5. So I'm going to come back up here and fill that in. So 2 square root of 5. Okay, so now we have all the sides. All we need now is an angle. So now we can use trig functions to help us find the angles. So I'm going to use the cosine function. Um, so the cosine to find a. So here's a. So if you remember, so katoa, so katoa. And the reason I'm using cosine is to find a, I have the adjacent and I have the um, um, uh, hypotenuse, right? So um, that seems to be a good bet to use what we already have, right? We're using what we already have. So the cosine of A, it's adjacent over hypotenuse. So the adjacent here would be 4. Hypotenuse is 6. So now you can use the inverse trig function. So cosine takes A and sends it to 4 over 6. So the inverse function takes 4 over 6 and sends it back to A. So if you put this in your calculator, you should get uh, A is about 48 degrees. So there's A. And that's it. Now to find um, B, what you can do um, is use the fact that the, everything here adds up to 180 in a triangle. So uh, 180 is equal to A plus B plus C. So 180 is equal to, let's see, A was 48, B we don't know and C is 90, oh, oh math. So 180, uh, it's going to be 138 plus B. If you subtract 138, um, you're going to get 42. So B is 42 degrees. And you can check your answer. You can add up A, B, and C. Right? 42 plus 48, um, that's going to be 90. And then 90 plus 90 is 180. So we've solved the triangle. I um, hope that made sense.